I have a presentation. Uh, and uh, I just noticed that uh, there's so many friendly faces that I, you know, you know me, I know you. I have a bit of a challenge for you, and uh, which will be a, a challenge for me as well. I have a deck, about 60 slides there, but I would like not to show any of them. <laughs> you are wondering wh why, <laughs> why? I will tell you why. Um, one of the characteristics of a innovator and the entrepreneur is flexibility, okay? The previous class, the, actually the slides didn't work, so I, I needed to be really flexible because there was nothing up there. But on, on, on our topic here, I'll tell you why. Probably I don't want to show anything. Maybe, maybe one or two slides because they are cool pictures and I love cool pictures. I think, and you will tell me in about one hour if I'm correct or wrong, that we are living a very interesting time for IT in Ukraine right now, and specifically a very interesting time for IT companies and IT products in Lviv. And I don't think we do have a clear answer on that. You might agree with me. So my plan, so you will vote. I believe kind of, kind of I believe in democracy. So you have option A, and we follow the deck. So some fellows here, you need to swallow some slides that you've seen before, hey? Or option B, two pictures only, and I'll try a new dance. So it's up to you. What do you want? Option A, how many? <laughs> Is this a democracy? <laughs> No, op option A is 68. <laughs> and option B. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Ukraine. It's democracy. <laughs> Which ones? The rest, they don't it's Ukraine. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Sophia said I'm an advocate, so it, that's the reality. You know, someone wants, someone doesn't want, and someone doesn't care. So the three options. All right. Yeah. You know what? Let's enjoy. Above all, let's enjoy. So I just, I love this picture. I, I you know, oh, let's do democracy as well. All right. <laughs> so option A, I tell you the story about the shoe factory. Option B, I tell you the story about the eagle. What do you want? Who wants the, sh the shoe factory? Who wants the eagle? The eagle won. Shall we go on like this the whole night? <laughs> this is going to be pretty interactive, huh? Whoa, I have no idea where we'll finish. <laughs> like, shall we throw the guy out of the door or out of the window? Out of the window! All right. Don't judge me wrong. I just make these little parentheses because sometimes I'm a bit uh, harsh on my, uh, I mean, cutting your voice or telling you my opinion. Please, nothing here is personal, all right? This is very important because this, I hope this might get a bit rough, all right? So nothing is personal. You know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. After this door, we're all friends. Tomorrow, beer at 8 o'clock in uh, Pravda Beer Theater, okay? That's it. I love this picture because I can apply it definitely to Ukraine, you know, all the political, social situation. But you know what? This is the perfect picture for the IT sector in Ukraine. Why? I mean, the ones that were here before, you cannot talk because otherwise it's no fun. You cannot talk either, I think, right? No, you cannot, at least for the next Let's two vote. minutes. Let's, Let's vote. vote. Can you talk or not? So you know what happened to, do, do you know, on average, how long does an eagle live? It's more or less 30, 40 years. That's what people believe that they live. And when they reach this age, 30, 40 years, they deal with an incredible challenge. Because their nose, which they use to eat, and their claws, which they use to hunt, they get very old, they get crippled, so they don't work anymore. So if an eagle cannot eat, what will happen probably? Die Absolutely right. So the eagle faces a huge challenge. Either dies or retreats for a couple of weeks, goes into a little cavern, and knocks his head as hard as possible 
until the nose falls off. Scratches the stones and the, and the walls with, uh, with his claws so the nails will fall off. And after a few weeks, a new nose will rise and new claws will rise. And usually the eagle that manages to do that can live more 30, 40 years. Interesting. Now think about the IT sector in Ukraine. Where is the IT sector right now? Is in the first 30 years? Are you already scratching your nose against the wall? Are you in the second 30 years? So let's start. Where are we right now in Ukraine? In the first five years, maybe 10, where everything, uh, people has everything he wants. Okay. Food. Lots of food, okay. Someone disagrees? Any disagreement? Yes. Let's go. Sorry, your name? Iliana. Iliana. Why you disagree? Uh, I disagree because uh, maybe for the guys who are working on the project, it's just five, ten years. But for managers who would like to grow their business and get the same revenue in five years, it's the time of 35. All right. You can be dead, right? Hmm? You might be dead if you don't change the nose. Yes. All right. Anyone believes that right now or anyone among you with your companies, own companies, whatever companies, are already scratching your nose and that, that stage that waiting for a new nose to, to come up? Any of you? Every year. Every year. All right. This is getting interesting. All right. You just lose the nose. That's cool. Any of you, by chance, are already on the second stage of life? You know, a totally new life with new claws. We need you knows. Great. This is excellent. That's that was really my hint. That's why 12 minutes ago, more or less, I said we are living very interesting times in the IT sector in Ukraine. And actually, I'm very happy I didn't start with the deck of slides because I really would like to take this direction and if we succeed, probably we're going to put some things out here that might help us in the future. But we need to be brave because we probably need to speak some things that we don't feel very comfortable. Okay? Let's see how far we can go. I'll do my best to help you. Just for you to understand, I mean, who is the guy here talking with you? I already told you my ambition. I would like to leave this room not with a compromise, not definitely not with a clear picture for the next 20 years, but at least with acknowledgement of some of the key factors that will influence the future of the IT sector in Ukraine. Okay? That would be, you know, goal achieved. Whatever we agree or not. Okay? It's really to map them out and leave the room probably with some light. Uh, I mean, I always talk about the next one, which I'll show you. Wait, you see this video, right? I love this video because, first of all, it's funny, and second, it's true. So, whatever expectations you have, don't worry. They will come out somehow, okay? Maybe not from where you expected, but they will come out. <laughs> Most important, will I get there? It's after these classes. So, <clears throat> just for you to know, I don't come from any hospital. Actually, I was a lawyer many years ago. Kind of serious profession. Criminal lawyer, anyway. So, worked on the corporate world until today. So, I do a lot of, you know, management, consulting. So, I feel pretty comfortable if you come up with some problem related with big structures, operations. Just for you to know, it's important uh, because I don't do only new projects, which I just show you some of them. I mean, some companies in total, I don't know, maybe 12, 16 in the last 20 years in different areas, energy, wine, content, uh, educational projects, uh, TV stations, 
these are the ones where I make money. I didn't put the, the, the logos of the ones I lost money. I don't want you to go after them. And the third leg, which I think builds for sure understanding, more than credibility understanding. I keep a relation on a constant basis with different universities in different countries because that's exactly what I believe. You know, the, you know, I believe in supply and demand. So I believe that the demand in some part of the world will be fulfilled with some supply in another part of the world. So networking and keep yourself connected with reality. I try to avoid to get stuck too much time doing the same thing on the same place. All right? So anyway, come to Portugal, beautiful country, and enjoy a glass of wine with me. Why do I put these slides very simple? And actually, you know what? We get older, we kind of get wiser. <laughs> this is kind of funny. We usually, you know, when we are younger, we take things too serious. In the end of the day, guys, it's about the dog, family, friends, and a good glass of wine. All right? So let's try to keep it that way. Um, next slide. It's working. So I always ask this, please, take your phones out, take your computers out. Use the free uh, Wi-Fi from the school. Use Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, whatever. But tweet or put some Facebook about what you're doing here, all right? So, you know, take pictures, say, I agree, I disagree. I want to throw this guy out of the uh, window, whatever. So really use that because otherwise you'll be used it anyway, right? I know, I cannot fight that, but use it in a proper way. So cool. So let's have some fun and use uh, what Albert Einstein was telling about. Um, now this is where things are gonna get really interesting because I really w want to take a seat and you guys should you know, get on stage. I love this picture, it's kind of upgrade on my deck. Yeah, you know what story is, right? Who was first? Who, is, who was first, exactly, you know, the egg and the chicken. Now let's think about the IT sector. That's going to be interesting. What do you think if you, if you would go back in time? So back in 90, 1992, 93, 94, what do you think was the most important thing Ukraine, and specifically Lviv, the IT sector in Lviv, had to offer to the world? Smart people. Smart people. All right. What else? Oh, wait, not this one. Cost oh, be, be honest, come on. <laughs> wait, wait, smart people. Cheap, 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 cheap cost of labor? I mean, cheap, lower price, yes. not cheap. Okay, cheap cost of labor. What else? Push, 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 push. We need to push. Quality. What else? Hey, we are in 90. 91, okay, more 95, okay? Qu quantity, right? Quantity. Sorry? At the time, an, uh, a high uh, percentage of unemployment. So, actually, uh, availability of resources, right? Okay, so. S uh, sorry, say again? Law, okay, so, you know, a fa favorable law for, what else? Education. Education, okay, let's put it, okay, it, well, it's not necessarily the same, education, what else? European mindset. In 1995, <laughs> I might challenge, look, but again, my ignorance, maybe it's too high. Do you think so? No. Location. 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 Uh, ex specify a little bit more. Location for what and for whom? <laughs> yeah, but look, why am I reinforcing the question? Because we might have different opinions about location here. Location for what and location for whom? Location for European companies? But for U.S. companies, the, my question is, then you can be anywhere in the world, right? Uh, it's one, eight, nine, ten hours difference, so... No, it's seven hours difference. Depends for East Coast. For West Coast, is more. Yeah, but in India, it's not... All right, all right. Okay, let's take it. Something else? 
Low taxes. That I don't know, so. No taxes. Ah, no taxes. Hey, that's low taxes. <laughs> or no taxes. That's cool. Are you serious? Yeah. That's, that in, in still is, no? Almost. Almost. Something else? In 1991, 95? Maybe it was more challenging. I mean responsibility. Uh, go, go a bit deeper, so I understand. What do you mean with res responsibility? People are very responsible? Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> I, maybe I didn't understand. People can, at least in Soviet time, it was if you take something, you start a task and you would finish it. Okay, so kind of r reliability, can I say? That? Attitude to work with yeah. ownership. Ownership, reliability, attitude to work. Okay. <laughs> That's already kind of enough, right? Yeah. All right. Can we take this up? Uh, I, I, I didn't specify. I asked you. You guys are, you, this is your responsibility. So bring on. I mean. But, uh, okay. Let me. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. You think it will done? All right. So, uh, so you had to offer to the world criminal business? No, or yeah, two weapons. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Something else.